Hello, this is Matthew Harrington with Dell Technologies. Today I'm going to cover creating a Dell command update custom package that we will upload and build within Intent. This package is going to install Dell command update 5.2. It's going to run a reg key file to silence the first run pop-up and it's also going to configure Dell command update. This way you could install DCU and configure it all at once, all from Intune. In order to do this, we're going to use the Intune Win app utility, which you could download. It's up on GitHub and many other places. <clears throat> what this utility does is we will point it to the source folder. It will bundle everything you put in here. You could have one, two, three, 10, 15 files, whatever you want. It will grab all of them and it will create an output file that will have all of the source. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to run the Intune Win app utility and it's gonna ask us for the source folder. I then give it the full source folder path then it wants <clears throat> which setup file do we want we're going to use our ps1 file i want to get the exact spelling so i'm going to copy it and now it wants the output folder and our output folder is right here it asks for a catalog which we don't need and now it has built <clears throat> install and configure dcu.intune.win. This is the file that you actually upload into the Intune world that you can then deploy. Now that we have this, we could come into Intune. As you can see, I've already created this package, but I'm going to walk through creating it again. So once you're in Intune, you go to Apps, All Apps, and you can see here that I have some of the Dell Command Configure Suite already built. You would say Add, and this is going to be a Windows App Win32 package. This is the equivalent of creating a package in SCCM. If you choose line of business then you're going to push out an MSI but when you want to bundle several things together and have one controlling script run and then you know call other exes and other scripts you would build the win windows app win32 it's going to ask us what package do we want and you can see here it's looking for the intune win we point it to our output folder. Okay, now we're going to name it. I'm just going to call this testing BCU build with custom settings. The description is how it would appear in the company portal. So you could say, you know, Dell command update version 5.2 the publisher is going to be Dell the app version we know is 5.2 here you actually have to specify PowerShell since we're running a PowerShell script and I already copied all this you don't want to just put the name you actually have to specify PowerShell.exe. I give it the ex execution policy is bypass, and then the actual name of the file. If you just put the name, it doesn't work, at least in my testing. The uninstall command I got from the Dell command update documentation, so I will put that in there. You could get return codes and things like that if needed. The operating system, I'll say it's 64-bit. The minimum operating system, you could put whatever you want here. 
Now you have to come up with a rules format. It has to know how to check for the install uh, presence of the software itself. So what you can do is you want to manually configure detection rules. You want to say add, and we're going to use an MSI. And when you install Dell Command Update, even though it's an EXE, it explodes out a bundled MSI, and then it uses the MSI product code, which I've already captured here. Do I know that is the product code? And let me just double check this. Okay. We hit next. There's no dependencies. And now here is where you assign it to the group that you want to actually deploy it to. I've already pushed this out, but this is the group that I always push my test software out to. So we can just hit next and then create. Now I've already created this, so I don't want to create it a second time because here it is right here. So if we click and you can see that I've already deployed it and it's already run successfully. If we click on properties, you see here's the name of it, the app version. I'm actually installing that particular PS1 file. I have the uninstall command. I'm putting it on both x86 and x64, the supported operating systems. We need Windows 10 21H1 as a minimum. I just threw that in there for the fun of it. And then here is the MSI product code. I've deployed this, so when it pushes out and you launch Dell Command Update, you don't see that first run pop up. And then when I click on the gear, it sets to manual and then under update filters, I uncheck a few things. This is all up to the customer or up to you, what you actually want to check or uncheck, you know, any of the settings in here. You could modify any or all of those with a PowerShell script, which I'm going to post to our internal team site. But it has a log file function. I use something called my invocations right here, which will always find the present working directory. Tools like SCCM, for example, they copy things down to C Windows backslash CCM cache. And then under the CCM cache folder, it just randomly creates new folders that it copies source into. So you don't know the name of the actual directory that your scripts are going to be in. This will actually find it for you. So it doesn't matter where Intune copies it down from, the PowerShell script is going to run and it's going to find the EXE. And then we run the EXE in silent mode. <clears throat> then we're going to, I create a function to call dcucli.exe and then you just run it. We're going to suspend BitLocker, we're going to choose update types, things of that nature. So it's pretty straightforward. You could copy and paste one of these and then make whatever changes that you want. So it's pretty straightforward to do. All you need is the Intune Win app utility, and then you could bundle up anything that you need to bundle up. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you.